sometimes you don't want to do it sometimes you don't want to go for that achievement you don't want to go for that goal you don't want to go to the gym you don't want to work out you don't want to meditate you don't want to do a whole host of things that will better you but it's important for us at that time to go and do it for example today it's pissing down rain it's not a nice day and i need to go to the gym i need to record a video and then i've got work later i don't necessarily want to do it i don't necessarily feel 100 percent motivated to do it to go to the gym after yesterday when i worked really hard and was at work for ages and all this but i'm gonna do it anyway i'm gonna do it anyway regardless of the circumstance regardless if the weather is terrible and i'm gonna get wet regardless of how i feel in a way and people's gonna say this is toxic but sometimes you gotta fucking do it man sometimes you gotta fucking do it sometimes you gotta get out your shell and go and do it even when you don't want to and that's when you start to actually build discipline then that's when you build discipline discipline is when you don't want to do something but you continuously do it for the betterment of yourself for that goal of yourself for that version of yourself for example people who work jobs they don't necessarily like that's discipline as well because they are working a job so they can literally pay for their family and pay for themselves that's discipline but there's different types of discipline for example you consistently going to the gym is a different type of discipline where you have to keep going and going and going even though you don't feel like it even though you you can't be bothered even though you're rather lay in bed even though you're rather be inside you film the video even though you want to be inside even though you want to be at home and be all comfy and just eat whatever and just be all comfort with or being comfort mate you have to do it you have to do it in order for that betterment of yourself you literally have to go out and do the things you want for the betterment of yourself and that version of yourself who you want to be in because if i don't film a video today let's say i'm not going to continuously go on that path and that trajectory of these videos where i'm enjoying it and i'm enjoying because cons consistently growing and growing and growing and getting better and better and better at this and I could then use that as an excuse not to film videos anymore and use that to go off the wagon. But if I consistently keep going and going and going, it's going to better me in the long term and it's going to better this channel in the long term. And that's the mindset you need to adapt with some things. Because if I just constantly look at the negatives in the world today, it's raining. It's not the best day. There's cars about. It's fucking cold. All these things. I can look at it as such a negative perspective. Like my life's going to be so negative today. I've got work in a bit. Oh no, I can't go to the gym as much as I want. I can use it to such a negative perspective and I can just give up. Or I can use that as motivation. I can use that as motivation. Oh, I need to go to the gym today. I need to literally get out and film a video. I need to go and do this thing, this thing, this thing in order to better myself, even though it's raining. Regardless of the external, we need to disregard the external sometimes, man. It's pissing down rain. I couldn't really care less. I've got things that I want to achieve and I've got a person who I want to be. And overall, when you better your mental health, you find it easier to drive towards these goals. You find it easier to drive towards this thing because it doesn't feel as much of a hardship then because you're actually enjoying yourself and enjoying your life. And even this, even this on the surface, it looks terrible. I'm out in the rain and it's cold. I don't necessarily see it as bad. I'm enjoying it, which is crazy to say, which is crazy to say, but that's what happens when your mental health is a lot better and when you actually put effort and emphasis on your mental health. You start to enjoy the bad things, enjoy the hard things, enjoy and endure the hard times and enjoy the hard times as well and find enjoyment out of the hard times. And overall, we need to do this for us. We need to do this for us. It's like in a minute, I'm going to go to the gym and work out. That's going to be quite hard on my muscles and all this. And I'm going to have to get back in the rain and all this, then get ready for work, have a shower, all that stuff. And, eat. and necessarily, that's quite hard to a degree. But overall, I don't care. I enjoy it because I enjoy putting myself through a bit of trials and tribulations testing myself and trying to better myself and that's what happens after a while you start to enjoy actually testing yourself and making yourself feel alive in a sense and striving towards that goal where you want to be and you get fulfillment out of that instead of fulfillment out of video games you get fulfillment in your real life instead which is a beautiful thing which is a beautiful thing and that's what it's about today today i don't necessarily feel like it 100 percent, but i get it done anyway today i don't necessarily feel like going to gym but I'm going anyway. I don't feel like going to work, but I'm going to go anyway. I don't feel like filming a video, but I'm going to do it anyway because that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do for the betterment of yourself and for that version of yourself who you want to be, that version of yourself who you literally want to achieve. That's what you got to do. That's genuinely what you got to do because if not, you're going to slack and you're going to get worse and worse and you're going to slowly progress, but not progress at the rate that you want and you're not going to do it to the degree that you want and achieve it to the degree that you want and we don't want that, do we? We want to achieve the best version of ourselves and we want to get better and better and better. But the conclusion in this video is some days you're not going to feel like it. Some days you're going to feel like taking it off. Some days you're going to feel like, oh, I can't be bothered. Oh, yesterday was hard. I feel tired. I feel fatigued. I feel terrible. But that's the days when you have to get it done. That's the days that add up. 
because you'll have the good days and the bad days all added up and amounting up to the point you're going to progress so much better than if you just done it on the days that you feel like it on the days that you feel like it so you lot when you're on a day when you don't feel like doing it when it's raining and you need to go to the gym you need to walk to the gym when you need to film a video outside when you need to go to work when there's all these different things understand that those are the days that truly add up those are the days that truly make a difference those are the days that truly make your life more meaningful more better because you're striving towards goals in them days if you just stayed at home and didn't try you're going to feel terrible about yourself then because you're not actually working on you and working on yourself and you're not actually bettering yourself into the goals you want to achieve if you don't actually work on things and try to better them situations better yourself and it's a day where you have free time and you have time to do it and you don't do it you're gonna feel terrible terrible about yourself you're gonna feel absolutely terrible and that's the truth man that's the truth if we don't actually literally take advantage of every every time you feel down and use that as motivation find the reasons for us to go and achieve this goal for example me filming a video now i want to build the channel a bit more build the subscribers build the views all this and consistently keep going on that path to slowly slowly get better and better for me going to the gym in a minute i want to build my physique get better feel better in myself build a better body build more confidence in myself build someone that i'm more proud of and i genuinely enjoy it as well and it's important for us to understand these things we need to find reasons when we're in these hardships when we're in these days where we don't feel like doing it when it's raining like this to go out and do it to go out and do it and that's the most important thing that's the most important lesson i would say to you lot do it on the days when you don't feel like it that's when discipline is truly truly there that's when discipline is truly truly there when you do things you don't want to do on the days you don't want to do them but you do that for that further goal of yourself you do that for that goal of where you're going to be of who you want to be of the person you want to be and that's what's important that's what's important because i guarantee in a few days it's going to be sunny and it's going to be beautiful when i'm going to be filming then i'm going to be all happy and gra grateful i'm happy at the moment even though i'm not in the best circumstance at this particular time but that's why we need to better our mental health as well and that's why we need to introduce into introduce discipline when we're working towards things because that's what's important that's what truly adds up the days that you don't want to do it and you do it on them days truly add up alongside the good days you have it truly adds up and adds up and adds up and you're going to see exponential results in yourself whereas if you didn't actually do them on the days you didn't want to do them you're not going to see the same results and that's what it's about that's what it's about it's about us keeping consistent trying and trying and trying and bettering ourselves and that's all we can do at the end of the day and that's the message in this video i hope you got some value in this like comment and subscribe thank you for all the love recently and i'm so grateful thank you